Hi, this video is the demo of Sahara Data Processing Service. Sahara is an OpenStack data processing service which allows users to provision Hadoop clusters on virtual machines and then execute Hadoop workloads on them. This time, Sahara will be using bare metal service with ironic provisioning to set up a Hadoop cluster and then execute a data processing job. Starting a Hadoop cluster on bare metal service is not very different from virtual machines. The bare metal servers are usually configured to work in their own availability zone. It means that the user has to choose this availability zone for the node group templates and appropriate network for the cluster template before launching a cluster. Sahara will go through the same provisioning steps while booting this Cloudera Hadoop cluster. The bare metal service cannot boot directly from Sahara Cloud images. It means that the first boot is done through the kernel image and RAMFS image which then do the partitioning process and mount the final disk image with the pre-installed Hadoop packages by Sahara. When the boot is complete, the regular login prompt will appear. When the cluster gets into active state, it means it is ready to execute Hadoop jobs. The cluster activity is monitored by Cloudera Manager, which is now showing that there is not much going on on the NIDL cluster. Hadoop provides a set of MapReduce jobs to put its HDFS service under load. I will use a DFSIO test job to check how the read and write operations of these Hadoop clusters work. The main class field tells Hadoop where is the entry point to the job, and the arguments list tells how it should be configured. The first argument tells that it's going to be a write benchmark, and the number of files and file size describe how much information should be written. In this particular case, there will be 10 files, 50 gigabytes each, which results in total of 500 gigabytes of data to be written. The Cloudera Manager shows the high disk activity, which means that Hadoop is writing the data to the disks, and also shows that there is a high network traffic, which means that HDFS is replicating the written blocks across the data nodes. When the write job completes, the read benchmark can be launched in a similar way. The job configuration looks almost the same for the read test. The only difference is that the read argument should be passed first to the arguments list. The file number and file size parameters are the same. The read test activity is also displayed in the Cloud Error Manager. As you can see, there is a high disk load applied on read operations, but there is no high network traffic generated. It happens because Hadoop's macro schedules the read task locally to the data block in HDFS. The read test completes faster because of that, and also because of the fact that each block is read only once across the cluster, not three times as it was in the write test. And that is all for today's demo. Thanks for watching.